good morning good afternoon and good evening everyone based on the time zones you all are coming from so before we start with the session can you all please give me a quick information if you all can see my screen and hear me loud and clear as well great thank you for the information everyone so before we get started let me quickly introduce this master class community with you all so this master class community was started back in 2019 and since then we have been closing into more than 13,000 members so far 35,000 members so far and again in these webinars we conduct multiple webinars and live topics on different topics including blockchain iot artificial intelligence machine learning and big data engineering technologies and the best part about these webinars are they are absolutely free of course so there are no charges involved here and again you can be a part of this office entire group simply by clicking on this link here which says join this group and then we will be notified with the entire schedule that has been planned here all right so the main goal of today's session is to discuss on multiple tips and tricks for making the entire dashboard better as a part of power bi so we can jump right into it so first of all we are going to discuss on what exactly are paginated reports and what exactly is a report builder how to use a paginated report along with other components so first of all we are going to discuss on how exactly we can work with data now power bi as you know is one of the main tools used for for data visualization just like we have tableau platform just like we have tableau as one of the main contenders for the data visualization softwares same way we have power bi so power bi is offered by microsoft so using power bi we can have a complete control of different of we can solve the reports that are going to be generated from the data sources coming in from different sources it can be any database it can be any offline file it can be any continuous stream of any data coming in from different sources and so on so here we are also going to discuss on the concept of paginated reports as a part of power bi so in terms of paginated reports so paginated reports are basically based on the rdl report technology so in, in sql server so here we use it as a part of reporting services which are formatted to fit well on a page here and here we can have multiple data sources like we have azure sql sql server power bi again they all are based on the page needed reports now there are multiple limitations as well so yeah, there are certain limitations here for example the we cannot go in and pin the reports to power bi dashboard in case we have any kind of page needed reports here and again here we have limitations for document maps and then the set reports and drill through reports are not available there and shared data sources and shared data sets is also not limited there and then we have report builder so report builder is like a tool for authoring paginated reports and it is a design space for creating paginated reports that you want to publish to power bi service like a complete report builder as you can see here we have the access to this report builder that we can make use of so here we can simply get the access to report builder and again using this itself we are going to get the access to create a page needed report by using power bi all right so to start with we are going to navigate to our power bi desktop version so that we can see how exactly we can work with it so let's open it up all right so we can make use of the default structure or we can make use of the power bi report builder as well that we can go in and download so power bi has been one of the conventional platforms so that is being structured as we speak and this is just like a this is just like a complete setup offered by power bi so here we can simply go ahead and accept the tncs so it's a bit different than working on the traditional power bi dashboard so let's wait for this one to be configured all right so they both have been configured so now we can simply type in power bi and here we have the report builder let's open up report report builder and at the same time let's open up power bi as well so this is how the report builder looks like so first of all we can simply go ahead and create the report from a given data set now data set can be anything if we want we can simply go ahead and create a data set and then we can define the data source connection so for example we may have the access to a specific data source for example we may have the access to a global superstore file that we can make use of so let's do one thing let's get the access to that global superstore file 
which is basically a CSV file where we have multiple sets of data that we can use as a part of our hands-on. So here we can define any data. For example, we want to work with Azure Synapse. We want to work with data where we want to enter data manually. We want to use the Azure SQL database from which data can be fetched. We can define that. We can use the SQL server or the ODBC connectors, or we can go ahead and make use of Power BI data set in case you have the access. We can define the connection string. If you want, we can go ahead and sign into Power BI. For example, let's say here we can log in to our own Power BI dashboard. Let's connect to our data source. And this is going to automatically fetch data from the different data sources available from Power BI report builder. Now here we are not using the Power BI dashboard desktop directly. So as you can see here, we have these different data sources available. For example, here we have the affordability report here. Here we have contours of sales report. So we can simply choose any of the report. For example, here we want to, to import the sales report here. We can click on select. So now currently this entire connection has, now if you want to test the connection, we can click on test to check if Power BI report builder tool is going to, as you can see, is currently having the access or not. And as you can see, a connection has been set, has been set successfully. We can click on OK. And here we have data source one. Click on next. Let's wait to be updated. Sometimes it takes it does take a while for this one to be updated here. Let's wait for a minute. Now, as you can see here, we have all the measure groups available. So again, as you can see, this one has been done. So now we have all the measure groups available. Like we have measures kpis calendars channel geography product product category subcategory promotion sales so so these is the so these are what these are, are the data pointers available in this condo so sales report and now if you want to suppose let's say here we want to work on any specific measure we can simply add that to, uh, we can simply add that to the query as well for example we want to add channel so it can simply define channel name we want to add geography we can add geography as well we want to add product we can add product we can add the category as well or we can be specific we can even specific data pointers can be used here directly and that is going to be used here. so here we can find multiple data pointers and if you want to execute any query on top of this one as a part of our own setup then we can click on click on execute query and as you can see here the content name the category the subcategory whatever we had defined here again they all are going to be imported and again we are going to see the results in this case let's suppose you want to make use of these only we can click on next and here we can arrange the fields once they have been populated let's wait for that so here we can choose any data pointers and then we can go ahead and use it as a part of our own dashboard all right so now it has been done so now we can simply go ahead and proceed to the next step here and here we can see the mapping for the two categories that we have selected as word category and then we have discount percentage and then we can simply go ahead and define we want to use the subtotals and grand totals or not we can click on next we can preview it so basically here we have the access to paginated reports here. So paginated reports are different. And that's why the main purpose of using report builder is to simply make sure that we do have the access to paginated reports and that too from coming from different sources. Whereas Power BI is a complete data visualization platform just like we have Tableau. So for example, say we have this data that we want to work with. We can either work on performing all the transformations that you want or we can load this data directly. Let's say here we want to work on creating a complete visualized report out of the current data set here. So that's where we can make use of this data pointers. We can choose any report as and when required, and then we would be allowed to get the access and plus we will be able to allow, we'll be allowed to make modifications exactly the way we want. So here we are going to import the data. We can import data locally from, we can import data from any data source, from any third party applications as well. If we want, we can even import data from web sources. There are multiple sources that we can fetch data from. We can use this, for example, here we want, now in the current sheet that we are trying to import, there are three 
In the current file that we are trying to import, there are three sheets. So here we can define we want to work on one sheet available, then we can make use of that. And if you want to, you go ahead and try the sample data sets. We can try the sample data sets in case you want to work on your own data pointers. Then we can connect to sample data sets. We can import anything we want. And then we can, for example, here we want to work on financials. So we also have the data for financials as well, where we can load it up. So once this is going to be loaded, then we would be able to get the access. Because here we can perform data transformations, we can import data from multiple sources as and when required here. That is how we can work with it. Let me show you a quick visualization that we can use as a reference, just a moment. And just to show you what exactly the content of data that we are currently working on, we can open this data pointer. So basically this is a complete Excel sheet containing different data pointers for the sales by a simple dummy company that we have the access to. So as you can see currently in this sheet, we have multiple data pointers. So for example, here we can see here we have the customer name, segment, city, state, country, postal code, market, ID, subcategory, product name, and then we have discount, profit, shipping costs, order priority. So again, these all data pointers are currently available in this sheet that we are currently using as a part of our desktop. And here we have three sheets. We have data for returns. We have data for people. And let's suppose we want to work on these different data pointers manually, right? So we can simply go ahead and copy and paste the entire data pointers as well. So for example, we suppose here we want to insert the entire entire data in this column here. We want to simply copy and paste it here. So we can simply choose a copy paste. And again, we can simply load the data as and when required. So let it load. Now, depending upon how many data pointers we have copied, it is going to take a while. And once it has been imported, we would be able to see the entire visualization the way we want. And once we import the data, we would be able to work on that data report accordingly. So as we have discussed, we will once we import the entire data back in our report builder, we would be able to simply go and create the charts depending upon the data set that we have selected. And we would be able to test it out accordingly. Depending upon the requirement, we can go ahead and test it out. So again, we can fetch data from Power BI service. Click on select. Click on next again. Here we can pick calendar. We can define channel. We can define geography. We can define product. We can define the... Now, within this, again, we have multiple pointers. For example, even if you talk about the sales report here again we have multiple sales report for example for channel name we want to define these total sales quantity we want to use the total cost we want to see the unit price we want to see the discount quantity so these all we can say matrices we want to work with we can simply click on next and here we can choose a chart type as a column as a line graph for example we want to make use of line graph then we can choose line graph and again suppose here we want to use Suppose day of the month as a simple series here and now here we want to simply showcase the sales quantity in terms of values. We can simply drop and drag and drop these values. And then we would be able to simply generate the report there. First of all, thank you so much for being a part of this entire session everyone. Thank you so much for joining everyone and have a great day ahead. Take care. Bye bye.